Oh, we didn't go very far at all. <laughs> good, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. All of you, we must vacate this. Gah, forget the fancy talk. Book it, come on. <laughs> we gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides to, uh, decides it's, it wants to fight us. Ugh. But commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce, you won't be any use to anybody if you die up here in this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. And so we hauled ass. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Brian. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of the same energy uh, was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I can't believe there really were two almighty Sinnoh after all. I guess that means neither of our clans was really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you, as fellow leaders, you saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Brian. And to you, Brian. I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Yeah, it's whatever. When it, well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we, under, uh, and we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let's, uh, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having Brian about has been a good influence on us all. Yeah, thank, uh, thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd have no chance getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it. How's it how is he to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. Relax, I got a plan, thanks to what Mighty Dialga told me. Dialga? The Pokemon that spoke to you? Yeah, and along with its name, it also told me what we need. The Stone of Creation's beginning. The red chain, uh, the chain of red, and the vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now, pervading space. And finally, Mighty Dialga said it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have, at least. The pieces, anyway. I did collect them. And the vessel of humankind's invention. I dare say that might refer to, the, uh, to a Pokeball. That's gotta be it. But what about the Stone of Creation's beginning part? Uh, Leon might have some ideas. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? The Warden Lian will be a fine resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Lavington? Do you have any ideas what this stone could be? Oh, oh upon my word, perhaps I do. Brian, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdeer and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I remembered, here on the back of the Earth plate, it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for 
stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Lin might know just where to find such a thing, and he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mentioned it, that Volo fellow came around the diamond settlement asking about those plates before, too. It seems uh, like a lead worth following. <clears throat> it's decided then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I propose we call it the Origin Ore. The counterpart. Yeah. <laughs> Erida, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course. I'll call Lian to the summit camp at once. I've waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adaman, I see all the other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with. But what of the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? <clears throat> I'm your leader, Melly. Uh, show a shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader, Adaman, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All, uh, all the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adaman. Oh, 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 you foolish, foolish boy. You, oh, you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has uh, work they're suited to and work they're not. And, oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people and all, and and you're all so little compared to me. Huh. <clears throat> Candy truffles. I don't know what the fuck those are. Ah, thanks for letting me know. A sweet fleshed truffle that is packed full of mysterious energy. It is one of the materials needed for crafting various items. I brought Leanne. Yeesh! That ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Jeez, man. I should be the one. Uh, I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Isui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first to be consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle. With that bumbling ball of yours. <laughs> Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adaman... Everyone back home is all worked up about the fact that you were spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh. Or Mighty Tiago, or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day, be proud. <clears throat> Wooden Lian, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the primeval grotto. Oh, okay. Down there. Everyone's fine. Everyone's good. Cave hole, I'm not seeing. Ow, my shins. Ah, the 
fucking Provo Pass standing right in front of it. <clears throat> Get away from me. Uh, don't do it. Leave me alone. Turn around. Hey, sir, if you could fuck off, that'd be great. Trying to catch a big nosy boy. Ah, he got burned. That flash cannon was kind of disappointing. Oh. Oh. Hey, right, stop it. I'm getting so goddamn close. Stay in the ball, please. Yes. Thank you. I'm fucking out of here. Already got all the noses I need. Nose passes. Oh my god. Wow. Goddamn Bastiodon and uh, a Rampardos. Right next to each other. Oh. That's for future people to dig out. That's not for me. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking, it, taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and my strength of and the strength of my Sligu's moves, I think you better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? Sure. We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Oh, fuck, gee. You three again? Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have, uh, we don't have time to waste with... Over? We haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where have you been all this time? <laughs> I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. Why didn't you just wait for the treasure to be dug out first and then, like, block the, the fucking entrance? The only, you know, it's, well, there's two, but you can have two at one and then one at the other, or, you know, like, it, this seems stupid. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if we were hard to, if you were hard to follow. <clears throat> what we seek may be a precious, uh, may be as precious as a treasure, but this is about how valuable it is. This isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. Ugh, that earnest goody two shoes act of yours is what made, uh, is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough. I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Brian. You take charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm, especially in this, the battle of a lifetime. New Pokemon. Uh, let's put Sneasler out there. Punch this thing into oblivion. Hey, 
Okay, not cool. Oh. I'm out of here. I'll put my goddamn... <coughs> my goddamn samurai, uh... Seal? No. No. Am I... At, uh... Fuck. Why is, why is the name of this animal escaping me? Otter, Jesus. <laughs> God. It's an otter. Well, you're rather formidable. Come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. And we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back at that place with all its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you better do something about that sky. You're as strong as ever, Brian. Maybe you could really do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet... You won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Okay. Damn. Hey, they pulled a Benny there. Honestly, those three. Why did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. Yay. The coin that I remembered uh, never hesitated to help someone in need. Even if she... Roused as she did so. Uh, I suspect that they have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. And they should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. I was able to extract some of that origin ore, or whatever you wish to call it. I suppose it had better go with you, Brian. Nice. An ore of mysterious power spoken of in the ancient myths. It's said to contain the power of Almighty Sinnoh itself. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply failed to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. <laughs> I knew we can count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver recognize you, recognizes you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Lavington's got sound judgment, plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. Probo back? No. We got it, Professor. So this is the stone of creation's beginning, the origin ore. Hmm, yes. One can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask you ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything by the sounds of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilee Village. Gotta go back to the village to do what? What are we doing? To put it all together? Why here? Here you are, Professor Lavington. What remains of the red chain, broken as it may be. Splendid, even in pieces, I think we'll find... We'll find it still perfectly fit for our, pur uh, for our, our purposes. Uh, we're jolly lucky if uh, we're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. <clears throat> Your turn, Brian. Next comes the stone of creation's beginning. And 
handed to you. The fragments of the red chain collected at the at great personal risk of the by the Pearl Clan. Then the Stone of Creation's beginning, which we first learned uh, we first learned of thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now it's time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Akari, my girl, you're the one of our, you're one of our team's greatest craftspeople. But I ask you to do the honors. This is my true battlefield, Brian, even if it may be safe indoors. This may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you had best wait outside while we work. Is it going to be a Master Ball? The very first Master Ball? Come on, Mr. Professor. I wish they hurried up in there. I'm starting to suspect all of your prattling about the Valley of Time is a cover for your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever. Because they'd be... That'd be using time, well, unlike this. We've done it, Brian. It's complete. I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed uh, to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. There. A singular and irre... <laughs> irre... Irreplicably, irre, uh, irreplicable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. Irreplicable. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of Hisui could rest in something so tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Whoa, hold on. It's that voice. I can hear it in my head again. You mean Dialga? Yeah. It seems Mighty Dialga... Uh, Mighty Dialga is will willing to lend its strength to this fight. That's what it's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. The Diamond Clan's almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps I should say Dialga, is fearsomely powerful. Everything's ready now, Brian. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Dialga. Alright. Do I? Do I have to use the ball? Can I throw other balls? You got anything cool? I don't have any money, holy shit. <laughs> you still have the mechanical circular saw? Can I get the algo out? Who am I replacing? <sighs> and we're, hey, wait, 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 wait. I don't see no Dialga out here. I don't see anybody out here. <laughs> what the fuck? Earth power, iron tail, roar of time, and there was something else. Uh, well, I don't know. Yes, Bravier. Being the lowest. I guess. And Flash Cannon. Hey, look at this shit. It's a god. <laughs> Alright, get back here. And here you are, last uh, lost one, ready to face your fate atop Mount Cornet. It seems a vicious battle might await you. 
I'll go where I must. Oh, well said. Now hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be served from space, nor space from time. The, uh, the being you will encounter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Palkia, ruler of all space. It will be... Uh, if it is allowed to run wild, space itself will ra uh, will warp and bend here in Hisui. And eventually, the very world may be broken. But you have to aid... Uh, you have the aid of its counterpart, Dialga, the ruler of time. And therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space. And the world can once again be as it should. Now take Dialga at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. I must say, this is quite an intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clother has to, has to offer. Excuse me, is this a time for shopping? Well, I'll hardly have time for shopping if it, if the world ends, will I, young man? A fair point. All right, Brian, once you feel ready, set out. We'll make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Uh, just checking. Checking to see if anybody's got quests. Uh, the summit. Up we go again. I didn't really get to ask your question. Uh, some portal up until not to let in. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll go do it this time, uh, for sure. Is Benny in here again? Do I gotta smack him up again? Polo's in here. Oh, fuck, man. We fighting? Just the boy I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sundries at the base uh, at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here, closer to the temple. I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see into the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow. Have, uh, uh before I could possibly be in any danger. Alright, man. Still a little suspicious of you. Gonna do something stupid. I can feel it. <laughs> 